Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a water bottle holder. So lately I've been going on a lot of walks, just getting out of the house, trying to get some fresh air, clear my head. And my walks have gotten longer and longer as the days go on and I'm getting much more accustomed to walking. So I started bringing a water bottle full of water, obviously, along with me to stay hydrated. And I have realized with my last few walks just how cumbersome and kind of annoying it is to walk around with a full water bottle. It's just not super ideal. So I was instantly reminded of a video I did a little while ago about things to crochet to sell spring and summer 2020. And in that video, I actually talk about in the bags and purses section, making a water bottle holder because in the spring and summer when it's hot outside, people are walking around at an event holding a water bottle or holding a soda bottle. And it's just not ideal to walk around holding something. And so I had that same exact feeling the last few times I've been walking where I told myself if I were to walk by a crochet booth right now and they were selling water bottle holders, I would buy one because I'm so done walking around with this full water bottle. So I figured, hey, you know what? Why don't I do a tutorial on how to make a water bottle holder and then I can use the finished product. Win-win, right? <laughs> So I do want to give a shout out and a recognition to the fact that this pattern is not mine. I found this pattern on Ravelry from an incredible crochet pattern designer named Goddess Crochet. Uh, in the link section below, in the notes section below, I have a link to the pattern on her website. So when you click on that link, it takes you directly to the pattern and you can either one, print off the pattern, the free pattern that has ads in it. Two, you can pay a little bit of money to get the ad-free uh, pattern that you can print off. And three, you have access to this incredible crochet pattern designer that you can subscribe to and she just gives you access to all of her free crochet patterns. And I just wanted to make sure that she got all the credit for this beautiful water bottle holder. This is actually called the What A Mesh water bottle holder and it is gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's also strong. It holds the full water bottle with no problem and it's very comfortable to wear when I have this strap either around my shoulder this way or if I, it's long enough where I can cross it across my body this way and it's super comfortable to wear. The materials that you're gonna need to make the What A Mesh water bottle holder is a cotton yarn doesn't have to be cotton. Cotton is just preferred but not required. You can use any four weighted yarn. Cotton is just known for its strength, okay? And you can have the small roll. You don't need the super size or jumbo size roll, okay? The small one is great. I actually wanted to show you, um, I started when I made this one, this water bottle holder, I started with a full skein and I was left over with that much. So give you an idea of how much yarn it'll take to make one of these water bottle holders. Um, so when you look at the pattern, either online or printing it out, you will notice that it shows two different crochet hook sizes. Okay, if you want to make a small size water bottle holder, say your water bottle is small, or you just want to use those plastic water bottles that come in the big case, you can use a size G or a 6-4.25 millimeter crochet hook, okay? If you want to make a medium or, or large size water bottle holder, which is what this is right here, you use a size H or 8-5.00 millimeter crochet hook, okay? So you have options here. Um, also a pair of scissors, obviously, to cut off the yarn when you are done. And if you want to, not required, obviously, but when you are finished and if you don't want to weave in your ends, you just want to quickly glue down the end of your project, fabric glue is a sure win. Make sure if you use fabric glue, get one that dries clear and flexible so it ends up being invisible and moldable and is completely just invisible. So let's get straight to making this guy. All right, go ahead and take your crochet hook and your yarn of choice. We only need a small little bit to start off on. Make your slip knot. There we go. Perfect. You're gonna chain three. 
one, two, three, and now go ahead and slip stitch in the very first chain. So insert your crochet hook in that chain and yarn over, pull through, and pull through all the way. We have made a loop. Perfect. Chain two, one, two. Okay, so in the very first round, because we're working in round circles, you are going to put 12 double crochets, not including that first chain two. So do 12 double crochets inside that circle loop right here that we just made, okay? Yarning over, inserting our crochet hook, yarn over again, three loops on that hook, Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that is your first double crochet. Go ahead and make 11 more of those, ending this round with 12 double crochets. Two. Three. Four. and 12 perfect all right go ahead and find the very top of that chain two. It got really crowded, <laughs> but that's okay. So it's probably this one right here that's kind of being buried a bit. That's your chain two. We're going to find that top chain and slip stitch into that one to just close round one. We just made that a full circle. Perfect. Okay, you're gonna chain two more one two we are now starting round two in round two you're going to put two double crochets in each space all the way around you will end with 24 double crochets and we're going to start in that very same spot that we just did two chains out of so yarn over and then that very same spot perfect two two and it will do one more in that same spot. Perfect. Go ahead and continue putting two double crochets into each space around and I'll meet you at the end with 24 double crochets. All right, great, 24 double crochets all the way around. Go ahead and find that chain two that we started with and slip stitch in that very top loop, basically the very top of that first double crochet. Right there, guys. Perfect, we have just sealed round two. Round three, go ahead and chain two, one, two, starting round three. In round three, we're going to put two double crochets in that first space and then put one double crochet in the second space and then repeat that pattern. So it's two double crochet, one double crochet, then two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet. You will end round three with 36 double crochets, okay? So let's go ahead and do the first few together. 
And that same space that we chained two out of, go ahead and put your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. There's your first double crochet and second double crochet. In the next space, just put one double crochet. Great. And the next space, we'll put two double crochets. One, two, and then one. Fabulous. Okay, so go ahead and continue repeating this pattern all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end with 36 double crochet, guys. Thirty-six, great. Okay, we just reached the end of round three, finding that chain two spot, finding the very top of that first double crochet. Go ahead and slip stitch in that to close the circle. Beautiful. Okay, so again, we're going to chain two, one, two. We are now in round four. In round four, we're going to put one sing or one double crochet in each space all the way around but in the back loop only. So go ahead and yarn over in that very first space that we chain two out of. It's a little small, but you're gonna go ahead in that V and just do the back loop, double crochet. Yarn over, look for your V, going to put in the back loop only and double crochet. One of those, back loop only, double crochet, in each space around, guys. You will end round four with 36 double crochets. And in the last space right here, perfect, great. Go ahead and find that chain two spot. Find that very first double crochet. Insert your hook into the top of that double crochet and slip stitch closed. Great, so by putting our double crochets in the back loop only, it allowed for this edge to happen. See that, doesn't that look cool? Great, so for round five, go ahead and chain two. And we are going to put one double crochet in each space around again, because now we're just building up, building tall, okay? And we are going to, so yarn over in that same spot that we put two chains, we're going to go through both loops. Sound good? And then two, two. Yarn over, go kind of in the front of the work where you see that hole right there. Front of the work, see that hole? Not in the top, but in the front. So there's two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Now there's three. Pull through two. Pull through two. Okay, go ahead and do this all the way around. Again, you're going to end with 36 double crochets. And I will see you very soon, guys. Thirty-five and thirty-six. Great. Finding that first double crochet, the top of it, and slip stitching closed. We have just finished round five. Perfect. Okay, round six, we start our pattern. So go ahead and chain one. Single crochet in that very first space. Single. Now we are going to chain five. 
one, two, three, four, five. Skip three spaces. So one, two, three. In the fourth space, you're going to do a single crochet. Single. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three. One, two, three. And single crochet in that fourth space. Okay, and repeat that all the way around. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And when we attach to close round six, find that very first single crochet and just slip stitch inside of it, okay? That just cleans everything up and makes everything look uniform. For round seven, you're going to slip stitch in the first three chains that we have here of the five, chain five. So go ahead and insert in the very first chain and slip stitch, second chain, slip stitch, and third chain, slip stitch. We are now at the very top of that like arc there. You're going to single crochet, so put your hook in that big gap right there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through all to two, putting a single crochet. Going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and just put a single crochet in the top of the next arc. Single crochet. See? Just like that. Okay, then five, one, two, three, four, five, find the top of the next arc, and just single crochet in the top of it. One, two, three, four, five, and just repeat this all the way around, guys. Okay, so reached the last five, closing round seven, and you're just going to slip stitch in that very first single crochet. So slip stitch closed. Again, everything is in uniform and sync. You're going to slip stitch in the next three to get to the top of that arc. So find that first chain and slip stitch one, second chain. Slip stitch two, third chain, slip stitch three. Perfect, we are now at the top of the arc. Go ahead and put a single crochet. So hook goes in that big gap, yarn over, single crochet. So with round eight though, we're not chaining five, we're chaining three, okay, super important. So one gap, two gap. When we're ready for the third gap, we are only chaining three. One, two, three but then doing the same thing where we're just putting a single crochet on the top of the arc, okay? One, two, three, top of the arc. And repeating this all the way across. So ending with three and then finding the very first single crochet where we can slip stitch 
right there to close off round eight. All right, go ahead and we're going to slip stitch in the very first gap here. So crochet hook inside the gap, yarn over and slip stitch. Chain two, one, two. This will count as the first double crochet. I'm gonna put three more double crochets inside this big gap. So one, two, three. So it'll technically look like four. So one, two, three, four. Put four double crochets in the next space. Go straight into it. One, two, three, four. Straight into it. One, two, three, four. Repeat all the way around. One, two, three, four. And last four guys. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. So every gap, top of every gap, should have a group of four double crochets all the way around. Finding the very first, so you got your chain two, got your double crochet right after the chain two. Go ahead and slip stitch in that very top right there. Perfect. And that just closes up round nine. So now we're going to go ahead and go back into these cool little guys. So for round 10, go ahead and chain one. Single crochet in that first space right there. Boom. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now including that space we were just in, in skip the next three. So one, two, three. So basically right in between the gaps here. See where the, the four, group of four and then this group of four, right between the two groups of four, you're going to attach the single crochet right in between those two groups. Okay, then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Find the gap space between this group of four and this group of four, and single crochet right in there. One, two, three, four, five. Find your next group of four, group of four, single crochet. And lastly, one, two, three, four, five. And you're just going to find that very first single crochet, guys, and slip stitch right into it. Perfect. And that just closed up round 10. Beautiful. Okay, so go ahead and slip stitch into the first three chains like we've done before. Find the very first chain, slip stitch into that one, second chain, slip stitch into that, and third chain, slip stitch into that one too. So now we're at the very top of the arch. Okay, go ahead and single crochet on the top of the arch. Gonna chain five, one, two, three, 
four, five, find the top of the next arch, and single crochet. And repeat. One, two, three, four, five, top of the next arch, single crochet. All the way around, guys. I'll see you at the end of the round, this round 11. Last group, one, two, three, four, five, and gonna find that first single crochet and just slip stitch right into it. Perfect. All right, we wanna get to the top of that arc. So slip stitch in the first three chains. Chain one. Chain two and chain three, oops, there we go. Go ahead and single crochet on the top of that arc and we're set up. And this is going to be the 12th row. And in the 12th row, we're going to do three chains. One, two, three, just like we did before. And then go to the top of the next arch and single crochet and then three, one, two, three, top of the next arch and single crochet. One, two, three, top of the next arch, single crochet, and repeat all the way around. Last grouping, one, two, three, find the top single crochet there and slip stitch in that. Fantastic, guys. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is slip stitch into that big gap. So big gap, slip stitch, chain two, one, two. That chain two counts as your first double crochet Put three more double crochets into this space. One, two, three. Great, so now it looks like a group of four. Go straight into the next space. Put four double crochets. One, two, three, Four. Fantastic. And keep going. So next gap space, put four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And last grouping, guys. One, two, three, and four. Okay, find the very top of that first double crochet right there. Slip stitch into that space. Great, that closed off that round. Chain one. Single crochet into that very first space right there. Great, and single crochet in each space around, guys. Great, and we've reached the connecting end here. That was the very first space, so go ahead and slip stitch into that very first 
space oh my goodness okay we just finished that round we're going to chain two one two so what we've done guys is we have just finished the barrel part or the bottle holder part of this design and we are now about to move on to the strap the strap itself you can make as long or as short as you want in the pattern it says that the strap goes to row 71 i went to row 75 technically we just finished here on row 15 so we're about to enter in row 16 so go ahead and turn your work where you are now looking on the inside of the barrel okay you're going to double crochet in that first space that we just chained two in okay so there's your first double crochet and double crochet in the next three spots. One, two, three. Okay, so this little piece right here, this little bit, that is your row 16. Okay, chain two, one, two, turn your work double crochet in the first space the first hole right there and double crochet in the next three one two three that's your row 17 this little guy right here that is your row 17 so for the strap you'll just continue to chain two one two turn your work and then you're going to double crochet in four spaces. One, two, three, four. Each space will, will receive one double crochet, okay? One, two, three, and four, okay? We have just finished row 18. <laughs> so you just keep repeating that guys until you've reached the desired length that you want your little strap to be. And as soon as you are done with this strap, go ahead and pause and I'm about to show you how to attach the strap to the other side of the work, okay? Just make sure that whatever row that you end on is an odd number row and it'll all make sense when we get to the part where, where we are ready to attach to the other side okay so this was 16 17 we just finished row 18 keep going chaining two turning and putting one double crochet in each of the four spaces there for as long as you want okay and i'll meet you in a second where we can attach this strap to the other side of the work, okay? Great job, guys. I'll see you in just a second. All right, guys, I just finished row 75 of my strap here for my water bottle carrier. You want to make sure that your, your strap can be as long as you want. Just make sure it ends at an odd number numbered row okay and how you can count so that first row right off of your work was row 16 then 17 18 19 20 you just count all those double crochets going up so i ended on row 75 okay you're going to chain one got it okay go back to the main body of work Okay, so this space right here is where the strap lines up with. Okay, so that space right there. Go to the 15th space. Count 15 spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Space 15 is where we're going to attach the other part of the strap, okay? So grab your work. Let's stretch it out to make sure it's not twisted because that would be awful. So taking my work here, up here. Okay. 
Okay, great. So line up that strap, that last space there with space 15. So bring this to like the inside of the loop behind. Great. Let's go ahead and tighten that loop. Okay, you're going to come on the outside. So this was space 15. Go inside space 15. Then find your strap and go inside that first space of your strap. Yarn over. Pull through both. And pull through the one. That's a slip stitch. Okay. So go into that next space. Go into the next space of the strap. Great. Yarn over. Pull through both of those and slip stitch. Go into the third space. Third space of the strap. Yarn over. Slip stitch. And one more, guys. One more space. Last space of the strap. Yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch. And what that did was it secured the strap to the work. Okay? We're going to go ahead and in this next space over here, we're going to uh, put our crochet hook in that next space. Yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch in that one also. And that just brought that yarn down and secured it flat. Okay? We're going to grab our scissors, making a short tail cut, okay, leaving just a short tail. Going to yarn over, pull through the loop, and tug, and that just creeps, creates a slip knot. And your project is done, guys. That is your gorgeous water bottle carrier. So, so pretty. Okay, so if I wanted to clean up the work, I would just go inside the work to the next hole over, pull the yarn to the inside, okay. I want to cut a tail so that my yarn will lay over that next stitch. So laying that over, so I'm going to cut right there. So when I glue it down, it will just match up with that next stitch and become invisible. Grabbing my fabric glue that dries clear and flexible. You just want this smallest, smallest little bit. Just like that. Lay that flat. Like press it into the work so that the fibers all combine with each other. And now when that dries, it will be completely invisible. No one will be able to see it. Perfect. That's it, guys. That is your water bottle holder. Oh, it looks so great, guys. Great job. Guys, this pattern turned out fabulous. Oh, my gosh. So here's what we just made. Here's my water bottle. Oh, my gosh. It looks so good. And the one thing I really, really appreciate about this pattern is your ability to manipulate how long you want the strap to be. So you can make the strap as long or as short as you need it to be to fit your comfort level. Wow, I can't wait to start using this. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me today. I always love crocheting with you. Make sure you give this video a like so that way other people can see this video too and make their own water bottle holders. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I still have so many videos to show you. I'm so excited. I try to release a video every Tuesday and every Friday of the week. And I, again, I cover content such as how-to videos, how to sell your crochet, how to manipulate a pattern like the straps and different materials that you can use, which is a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much again for joining me today. I will see you with my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.